And we'll take the first one from Meredith Morakovitz. Meredith, please unmute your line. Hey, Mike, do you feel ready for the season to begin, being that it's just a week away now? Yeah. I mean, not, ma not many options uh, but to feel ready. But, no, I, um, you know, I think um, staff and team has um, – done a great job of uh, getting us a lot of at-bats and, and, and we just finished up some with a group today. Uh, I think that um, we also have the, you know, the added benefit of the um, quality arms we're facing on, on uh, you know, every day. It's, it's, it's a really good challenge. You know, I think it's a good challenge for the hitters to be facing that caliber pitching and then, you know, vice versa. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, we got, some some exhibition games against some other arms coming up soon but i think you know whether whether or not you're like ready you got you kind of you know you just gotta gotta be ready overall how do you feel at the plate right now how has your timing been it's gotten better you know um there's nothing really that can simulate the game speed uh, of a guy standing in the mound throwing to you so you know i think i think like a lot of guys um you know would agree that pitching uh, early on is usually a little ahead of hitting um, but I, I would definitely say that I've noticed collectively um, the last few days, guys are starting to put together some really good at-bats and, and, you know, the, their contact point kind of moving out front a little bit more, hitting some balls hard. So that's great, you know, to see coming up because obviously, you know, um, Washington's got really good pitching staff. So, you know, that'll, you know, we're getting that preparation we need. With everyone in the outfield seemingly healthy right now, how do you see yourself fitting in in this 2020 season? Just wherever I'm needed. Um, you know, uh, that's like like that's not something you can really control, I guess. Um, but just try to control my preparation. Um, obviously, we have uh, a really, really talented team. And when we're healthy, you know, we're going to be really tough. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to get it going. You know, it's been kind of a crazy few months and just being back to baseball is exciting. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith. We'll take our next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, would you please unmute your line? Hi, Mike. I'm just curious um, what you expect uh, facing another team this weekend. What will, what will be the benefits of that and, and how will it be different than what you've been doing lately? I, mean, I think it'll be, I mean, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be great, but um, you know, I think it, as there are a couple things that as much as you want to try to simulate in an inner squad, it's like those are guys or, and there's al there's always a level of competitiveness, just, you know, the, our, our personalities. But I think playing another team and, you know, guys you don't like know, quote unquote, it, it, it adds another level of that. So, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how lack of crowds and different things kind of affect adrenaline and kind of the day-to-day -day, um, nature of playing. But I think that playing against another team will sort of add a level. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that and should be should be good. This is about, I guess, one week left in spring training or summer camp or whatever this is. Um, do you feel like you would in a normal spring training a week out or is it a little different now? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same, you know, I think I've been trying to, you know, kind of over the break, stay on top of a lot of stuff, um, just in terms of, uh, as, uh simulate as, uh, game speed as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it seems like we're, we're kind of lengthening out the time we're on the field, lengthening out the time we're on our feet because that's. You know, the reality is kind of like you said, you know, I guess we got nine innings coming up this weekend, but then, you know, next Thursday, a week from now or, or whatever, we got, you know, uh, the games count and they, you know, you can argue they count even more. So, you know, I think I think that it's kind of that that last week is just going to be the same that it, you know, kind of normally is. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. We'll take our next question from Brian Hoke. Brian, would you please unmute your line? Hi, hey, Mike. Oh. Just wondering what your main takeaway was from facing your own pitchers. Is there anything you learned about them? And they're really good. You know, I mean, <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I think that it just shows how, um, 
you know, I mean, we, our, our guys really do our homework. And you can, I mean, you can see that in, you know, normal circumstances too. Um, you know, our, our, guys, our guys study, their, their preparation is there. I don't, think, I don't think you can say that our team's never prepared. Um, so, you know, even if it's, if it's facing our guys, you know, you see the starters going over their reports on, you know, how to get us out. And I think it gives a, a, a little bit of insight into, you know, what we can expect, um, you know, from other teams, I guess, just from a, a game planning, scouting uh, preparation standpoint. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. We'll take the next one from Ron Blum. Ron, would you please unmute? Hi, hey Mike. Has anyone from the coaching staff or Aaron talked to you yet about the possibility of being used as the runner on second to start the next inning? And what do you think about that? And how would you, what would be the preparation just to be stretched out and ready for that? Uh, yeah, I just keep your legs loose. I mean, I think, um, you know, spending some time in, in a bench player role, it, 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 it forces you to kind of think along the lines of a manager um, and just what situations you could be used for. And, and, and um, you know, if that's a role that they're going to use me in, it's just about, you know, being ready, um, making sure my legs are ready to go because if we get a hit, if I'm on second base, I expect to, you know, be waved around and score. So the opportunity to win the game, you got to be ready for it. Do you like this innovation? What did you think of it when you saw it used in the minors? Um, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I understand why it's being done, um, but I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I understand why pitchers don't like it, um, having to deal with a runner that they didn't um, create. Um, I think that there's going to be some experimentation with it. Uh, I think in the minor leagues, though, you, you kind of just get used to it um, a little bit. But I, I would have to say that uh, I would rather, I guess, we play it a little bit more straight up. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. We'll take the next one from George King. George, would you please unmute? Mike, uh, Boyd was in uh, where you were a little while ago. He said he stole LeMayu. And he said it was ex really excited to see him back. Um, that go I'm, sh I'm sure that goes for the rest of the players too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, from a production standpoint, I mean, everybody saw what he did last year. Um, uh, you know, offensively, and then just to have you know, kind of that. So to have that presence at the top of the lineup, you know, is is uh, he kind of kickstarts the whole thing and. Um, you know, from a defensive standpoint, just to kind of solidify that, uh, you know, the infield, because he, I think he's shown, you know, gold glove ability at three positions. Um, I know he's probably going to be seeing a lot of second base. I, don't, I guess I don't really know. But, um, you know, whatever the case is, um, to have a player who was, you know, like a, what, like a top four or five MVP last year, getting him back right before we go, it's huge. And did you see him? And if you did, what did he look like? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I can't wait to see him, though. Thank you. We'll take the next one from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, would you please unmute? Mike, I actually also had a question for you about the extra innings because you were part of that uh, the simulated stuff the other night. Um, what did you take from that, getting a chance to kind of put it in action, try to lay down a bunt? Is there anything about just the pressure of trying to, uh, to push that run across in that situation that you guys learned or talked about during the, uh, during the game? No, I just think it honestly comes down to execution. You know, um, whether or not we're going to be bunting more, whether or not we're going to be more, be a little bit more aggressive on the bases, you know, putting somebody that has the capability to steal third base possibly, or um, just, uh, yeah, like I kind of like you, like you said, you get a little creative. I think, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of possibilities and it was good to practice it. And then, so at least uh, we're prepared for like the first time it happens, because it's going to happen. Um, you know, it's going to happen. So, um, you know, I think, it was good. I think it was good for the pitchers, too. You know, not a, lot of, not a lot of runners get to second base on Chad Green, Tommy Canely, Zach Britton, and Adam Adovino. So uh, good practice for them, too. Good practice for the catchers in that situation, the middle infielders. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, you know, we'll find out a little bit more once we get that situation in the regular season. Thank you, Mike. 
We'll go to James Wagner. James, would you please unmute? Hey, Mike, uh, <clears throat> just a quick question. I know you talked about in the off season, sorry, during the pause that you had a place to hit um, and you were hitting the tee, but I guess, did you, have you ever used the concept of like visualization where you, and whether it's virtual reality or, or watching all that bats of yourself to try and, you know, prepare when you're not actually, or keep your mind sharp and focused when you're not actually like doing anything physical, I guess. Um, any sort of VR stuff I've seen to this point I haven't come away too impressed with. Um, I often find that the only way to truly know what a guy looks like is to be in the box with him. Now, I think there are things um, in your mental uh, library and catalog of at-bats that based on arm slot or size or repertoire might be able to give you a little bit of an idea of what a guy's stuff will look like and um, I think that I've found that prepares me better than um, any uh, VR tech that I've seen to this point. Um, to your second point, I think, I think everybody at some point likes to watch uh, videos of themselves having success. Um, in terms of using that, I, I'm not a huge fan of going back to look at um, mechanical cues that I that I've used in the past because a lot of times your bo your body changes your thought processes evolve um, you know maybe you're stronger or weaker or um, you know you've you've dealt with some sort of physical limitation in some way or something so I, I try to I try to really focus on how I'm feeling presently and what seems to be feeling good uh, that day as but it does Sometimes you do need to watch some some of your highlights to, you know, get the juices flowing a little bit. Thank you, James. We'll go to Max Goodman. Max, please unmute. Hey, Mike. Thanks for taking some time. As a fellow outfielder, I just wanted to. I'm just curious what you think about where Aaron Judge is at and swung the ball well yesterday. Swung swung the bat well yesterday. Uh, but since you're you're out there with him in drills and, and you were with him when he was hurt earlier this spring, where do you think he's at and what do you expect from him this year? I think it looks great. Um, you know, his drill work looks looks great. I think, um, you know, he doesn't give enough credit for his defense out there. I thought last night um, the times that we've been starting our games, uh, right field is you're basically just staring right into the sun. And there was a ball that he went back on that was I can – pretty much guarantee was in the sun and he made it I mean he made it look pretty easy but it was not an easy play um, I think it looks great um, and I I mean I anticipating him having his you know normal impact type season Thanks. thank you we'll go back to Meredith Meredith please unmute Hey, Mike, the Yankees released a commercial the other day featuring you and Tommy Canely. Have you watched it? Did you enjoy doing it? What did you think of the finished product? It was great. Um, I was wondering when we were going to see it. Uh, yeah, we did it back in spring training. Um, you know, they did a great job with that. They did a great job with all of them. I loved, uh, I loved Glaber's commercial. I watched it like 10 times when it first came out. Um, you know, they, all of them, they do a really good job with. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you want something to, you know, get a lot of views, you put Tommy Canely in it, I think. So, uh, no, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun doing it with him, just kind of goofing around and, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And I, I, it was fun. I liked it. 